I still remember the first wave I caught, that feeling of nature carrying you along through the water. It was just so new and I just wanted to keep doing it. Looking back at the mainland, I'm away from them all. I'm somewhere else. Surfing gave me this complete sense of freedom. And you can look around 360 degrees and you won't see a single sign of civilization. Absolute sheer morning glass, you know, and the sun just coming up over Yates country. It was just religious, you know, religious experience. Three years ago, I set out to track down the pioneers of Irish surfing. I would meet a colorful trailblazing group of surfers who discovered the ultimate secret spot, an island of almost 2,000 miles of coastline that was completely unknown to the outside surfing world. Nobody thought Ireland had waves like California or Hawaii, so why should there be anybody surfing? The waves there were as good as waves that surfed in Central America or anywhere else in the world, but there were no crowds. I mean, nobody, not even other surfers. It's sort of an age of exploration. We were just traveling around, and nobody knew what we were doing. They couldn't figure it out. They all thought we were crazy. There's an old guy up the road. He says, there's somebody down there walking on the water. They're doing some waves sliding where you're. They wouldn't know what surfing was. Roger and I wanted the world to know that Ireland was a surfing nation as well. We weren't just this island forgotten in the Atlantic, and that we actually had waves as good as anybody else. They came together during the late 60s and early 70s. When the island was beginning to be torn apart, by the Northern Ireland conflict known as the Troubles, which would deeply divide the people of Ireland for 30 years. The war was so sectarian. It was Protestant against Catholic. It was the IRA against the UVF. It was the Unionists against the Sinn Feiners. It was the British against the Irish. Surfers on both sides of the conflict would find peace and escape in their secret surfing paradise. But eventually, they would wrestle with their own conflict between those surfers who were determined to put Ireland on the international surfing map and those who were determined to defend their surfing paradise. 